Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you guys a very cool Python program. I think it's pretty cool. It's the name of the program will be Pig Latin. What Pig Latin means is it's gonna ask the user to enter a word and then it's gonna chop down the word A, put it back into the word after after the word and then add A Y to it. So say if if the user in if the user enters A B C so it will chop down A, the first letter, put that letter back into the word after C and then add AY, another AY to it. I think it's a pretty cool program. I hope you have some experience in programming in Python. So let's start the program. So first we're gonna print a statement. So we're gonna welcome the user. Welcome to Peak Latin. All right, and then we have the word. It's not a word. It's two letters, a y. So we're gonna store a y to a variable. Say the name of the variable is var. It can write any name, and then you write a y. And then what we need to do is we're gonna ask the user to enter a word. So in order to in order to ask the user to enter a word, we need to declare a variable so you can write var word and then raw underscore input and then you can write enter the uh, enter a word so whatever the user enters over here is gonna store it into word and now the fun part we don't want the user to input a number and and just leave it blank so we need two conditions to meet. First, it, the word has to be more than zero characters and the word has to be an alphabet. So in order to use that, we need a new statement and we're gonna call say if the length of word. So this word is this word. So it's gonna, Python's gonna check if the length of word the user put in is greater than zero and word dot is alpha what this line means is it's gonna check if the word if the length of the word is greater than zero say I put in ABC so it has three characters so it's greater than zero and the word is alpha so these two conditions has to meet in order for the program to run and then what we're gonna do is if the user enters all uppercase letters, we're gonna change that into lowercase letters and store that into a variable. So say the variable is word L for word lower, and then we're gonna call word dot lower. So it's gonna what this is gonna do is it's gonna call word and then it's gonna change it to lower and then put it back into word L. And then what we need to do is we need to call we need the first letter of the word right so in order to do is call word l so now the now whatever the user entered over here is going to word and then and then we call word put it back and put, change it to all lowercase and then put it back into word l so the, now we are dealing with word l not word so we're gonna call word l and then and then put zero in it that means we we need to we'll take the first letter of the word l and then we'll we'll assign it to a variable say the first l in the first letter of the word l and then we'll just print it out on the screen but for that we need to concatenate the string and then assign it to a new variable say the new variable is new underscore word equals so we're gonna call word l plus first l plus var so what this means is new underscore word is gonna store all the values of three variables so word l has all the lower characters and then first l has the first letter of the word and then var has a y so say I entered a b c and then it got stored into word and then and then over here in line 20 that word got changed to lowercase and then it got stored into word l and then word and then the first letter of the word L 
which is 0, we stored that letter into first L. So in line 22, word L has all the lowercase letters, and then first L has the first letter of the word L, and then var has AY. We're going to add all them up, all of them up, and put it put it into word new underscore word. So let's print this word. Let's just print this variable new underscore word and let's run the program and see what happens. So the program compiled fine. You can see the welcome statement and then it's asking you to enter a word. So say you write an ABC all uppercase. The program is going to change it into all lowercase letters. See the output is A B C A A A Y. So but we don't want this A over here, right? We need to chop down this A. So in order to do this, we need, just need to modify the new word. So new underscore word, and then you can just want, you write one is to, and then you don't need to write anything. You can write new underscore word here, but why, why do you want to write it? You can just leave it blank. So what this going to do is, it's going to chop down the letter, the first letter of the word. And then we're going to assign this to we can assign it to a new variable and then print out the new variable or we can reassign it to new underscore word. You can do this in Python. And then let's print the and then let's print the modified version of new underscore word. And let's see what happens. Let's run the program. Alright, compile fine, asking you to enter the word ABC. Okay. See, so now you can see the output is B, C, A, A, Y. So you got rid of A. All right, so isn't it pretty cool? I think it's pretty cool. Now, there's an if statement. So say I entered numbers, but the program, but you did not give the program any instructions what to do if the user inputs a number. So you can go ahead and write else, and then you can write print, print sorry input or enter a word all right so what this going to do is i'm just going to run the program and explain to you one more one more time let's run it let's enter a word let's enter 10 all right so you can see the output is sorry enter a word so what it did is is ask the user to enter a word but i put a number so it's gonna check the if statement over here if the if the word is greater than zero, which is not, and is alpha, which is not. So it won't run all the all the lines of codes over here. It's gonna go straight to else, and it's gonna print out this one. So that's why it printed out sorry, enter a word. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys all liked it and enjoyed it. Just play a little bit with this code, lines of code. It's, it's a pretty cool program. And if you guys enjoyed and liked my video, please hit the thumbs up button underneath. And I'll see you guys next time.